Hey, good morning. Welcome to the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I learned if I talk during the pre-song, it gets all garbled, but we don't care about that right now. But it's like, yeah, I gotta stop. I gotta shut the sound off before I talk. Otherwise, it gets all crazy. Hope you're doing well today. It's a Thursday. It's 3R Thursday where we talk about re requirements, uh, reviews, and retrospectives. Today, we're talking about reviews. Making those reviews smaller. Making them customer-centric. And also, I just want to let you know, tonight, got an interview, The Art of Slicing Work by Anton Skornikoff. He's going to talk about that, Skornikoff, and his book. So we got that interview coming out tonight. It's about slicing the art of slicing work, which really goes into what we're talking about today as far as the, the requirements and the reviews and all that kind of stuff is how do you slice it up so you can get it done. So I hope you join us tonight, 8 o'clock tonight. We'll put that out on video, and then it goes out on podcast about 9 o'clock tonight. And um, anyway, thanks for joining. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach, and we talk about Scrum and Agile in a very practical and tactical way and bring more value to your customer without working crazy hours and having a little fun along the way. So as I, as I wanted to bring this up, making smaller reviews. Now, People in Scrum, there's a central sprint review meeting, which is fine. And that works a lot of times when you only have one stakeholder, right? It's a great solution. But not all teams just have one stakeholder. Sometimes they're servicing all kinds of parts of the business in the company and everything. So they, they have more than one stakeholder. Not every stakeholder is going to be interested in what every other stakeholder is doing. So my suggestion is if you are in that situation, have smaller reviews. And this is, here's another key thing about this. So many teams, so many Scrum Masters, so many product owners, think the sprint review is about them. We're, we're the mountain, bring everyone, but, you know, and we talked about that in a previous episode a little bit, but it's about you customizing to satisfy your customer. If you don't get this idea of customer centric and what you're doing as a team and delivering your product, you're not going to last forever. I mean, They'll, they'll never want to come. They come back to you because maybe they have to and you're only place to go, right? Sooner or later, they're going to make calls to go other places. So what you want to do is you want to customize your reviews with the stakeholders and let them feel like they're they're the, the number one thing in your team's life. Now, what you can do is you make smaller versions of these. Like we say, you know, they say the time box is this, but why not slice up the time box? Maybe it's Instead of a two-hour sprint re um, sprint review where all these stakeholders are not going to want to be there, maybe it's four half-hour sprint reviews, one for each customer. Maybe it's a 15-minute one, you know, just reviewing it. But there's a couple keys that are important here, and there's a slight difference. There's a thing about going out and getting individual feedback as you go along. Beautiful, should be done. But there's also a thing of bring bringing the team together so they can all hear the feedback from the customer during the sprint review, right? So you want that combination. You don't want to just have one person talk to the customer and no one else from the team talk to the customer because the ones that are actually writing the code and doing the code need to hear feedback from the customer. So when they write the code or make something for the, the next time the customer asks for, they have a better idea of what they're looking for and where they're, where they're coming from. And that's important to getting these teams to faster, quicker, producing more valuable product, right? So one of the things you do is you, you condense these meetings. Now, there's a couple options here, right? So you have a product, you have a feature. Maybe this feature epic goes to this customer stakeholder. This one goes to this customer stakeholder. One, you want to invite your managers there because the managers want to hear what's going on with each customer. And you want to put the spotlight on that product being delivered to customer. And you want to look good, right? Why not invite the managers to do the thing? So they can hear what each customer is saying because they probably don't talk to the customer like you do. To be honest with you, I don't think they ever do. That's, most of the times they don't. They just hear complaints, but maybe the interchange is really good. They see their perspective. Now, what you can do also is I would go ahead and invite if you have an agenda. This isn't really important. Most teams don't do a good job of this. and They wait till last minute to put out agenda. Put an agenda, what features are going to be. Maybe put a little image. We're going to do this. We're going to show this. We're going to show this product line. 
So maybe not all the stakeholders are interested in software specifically, but maybe they want to see what you created because they may get ideas of how they can use what code you just developed in another product they've been thinking about introducing, right? So why not invite them as well? Make a little, make your own little advertisement, right? Even though you're going to talk about, hey, at 10 o'clock, we're doing this customer. And you throw a little picture of the thing you're producing and sharing that. And 10.30, we're doing this customer. And we're going to show this. Or maybe it's 10 o'clock, 10.15, 10.30. You know, you get it all done an hour. Every 15 minutes, you're showing a different product line and getting feedback. One, they may want to see what you're doing for them. And they may have an interest, too. They might want to see how the interaction goes. Maybe the customer will learn how to do that interaction with your team and get more for their value, their buck, their spending a higher on you to do their stuff. So there's lots of ways to slice this thing up. As we talked about the art of slicing work, right? So you're slicing that work down for different stakeholders. So hopefully you turn in tonight at eight o'clock to hear Anton and watch his interview. And then later on at nine o'clock to hear it on a podcast version. And then I think at X, and X, and again, in LinkedIn, I put it back out again about 9.30 p.m. on X is when I release it there um, for the for the video, right? So, but think about how you slice this up. Slice up your stakeholder. Slice up your sprint review. And just something I want to recommend. Customize it so they want to attend. Make it in the interest of your stakeholders to attend your sprint reviews. Don't make it so boring because it's about everyone else but them that they don't want to attend. You think about that? Maybe there's a reason why they're not attending because whatever you're presenting is not in their interest, is not something they have an interest in, nor their what's in it for me, right? So that's what I have today on the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I hope you enjoyed this. Please share with your friends. Please like us on whatever system you're looking at. The more likes, the more it goes out to share an organic reach and more helps other people. And um, again, tune in tonight, 8 o'clock, to hear Anton talk about the art of slicing work. Another video in a series. i got a couple more interviews coming along. Don't forget, if you want to be interviewed part of our thing, because you want to transition your career, send me a note. We'll get you on the interview list, and maybe we'll do an interview about you know Agile Scrum, whatever your topic is, whatever you think you have something you want to share. Maybe you have a book idea coming down. And don't forget about our meetups. I do need someone that presented our meetup this month. So if you if you feel like you want to do a meetup, send me a note. We'll get you on board. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Happy scrumming. And we will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.